a different kind of video today and in today's video we are doing a story time drama at the plant shop video <laughs> I swear this video ties into something to do with the music that I listen to and my dog Igor and I guess this video is also going to be telling you a little bit more about my dog Igor. If you don't know, I am the proud owner slash dog parent, whatever you want to call me, of this beautiful boy right here. He's currently laying down on the bed right, oh there he is, wait, oh there he is. Yeah, so he's currently laying down on the bed doing a relax and I don't want to have him wake up and have him have his old old man dog bone be uh oh hello I decided to sit up can we see your nose oh thank you um I didn't want him to get up but I guess he just decided to peek up and say hello <laughs> so he's a 13 year old whippet and he actually has something called double muscle syndrome which is something that happens when you breed two racing whippets together. It's this really weird, really rare genetic defect that tends to happen and that's why my dog, who is supposed to be only 30 pounds, that's what the breed standard is, uh, was 60 pounds back in his day. And I'll try to find some images of him when he was really younger and some images of him now, but like, my dog was ripped every day with leg day and arm day. He's a really muscly dog. There is also another famous Whippet on the internet who has double muscle syndrome. Her name is Wendy the Whippet and here's a photo of her right here. So yeah, it is a thing <laughs> and they're really funny looking dogs but I have to say Igor here is the best free thing I ever got because since he is not breed standard, the breeders thought that he was stupid since the other whippets ran circles around him and um you know they were just kind of projected their own weird stuff onto the dog yeah who like he didn't really need any of that like what are they doing so best free thing i ever got because otherwise they were going to put him down and me being me i found him on the internet and was like oh no this is my dog igor i've always wanted to have a dog named igor oh and we went and we got him and i've just had 13 years of crazy, crazy love from this crazy, crazy guy. But <clears throat> the whole story time of this, <laughs> in addition to being about get to know my dog, is one day I had to take him to get a rabies shot. After the rabies shot, I thought it would be nice for the two of us to go to a plant store. If you can't tell from looking around in the background in some of my videos, I really like plants a lot. and. Plants and dogs, apparently. <laughs> Plants, dogs, music, yeah. Those are things that Ariana likes. So I went to the plant store because it's dog friendly. I can take him there. He can walk around, smell all the smells, and our outing for the day won't have just been of me betraying him by taking him to the vet and getting stuck with a needle. So we're walking around looking at plants, and I actually ended up picking up this little peperomia and it was like underneath a bunch of different shelves and stuff. So I'm wearing this shirt, by the way, which is a health shirt. I'll have a video either up or upcoming about their latest album. And I'm looking at this peperomia. So effectively with my legs and everything, all that you can see on my shirt is literally what you can see in the frame right now. So I'm looking at this peperomia and this lady walks in and she's like, oh, and stares at Igor. What an interesting dog. What kind of a dog is that? And I'm like, oh, he's a whippet. And I go back to looking at the plant, obviously, like that's what I'm interested in. And Igor is just standing right next to me. Like he's not going up to the lady or anything. He's just standing right next to me. And she goes, oh, well, I never, wow, a whippet. Now he's just the biggest whippet. And I look at her and go, yeah, well, you know, he has double muscle syndrome, and so he's twice the size. Most people think that he's a small greyhound or a greyhound, but he is a whippet. His name's Igor, and I turn to look at my peperomia being like, this is my dog's name if you want to say it and pet him, go ahead. Otherwise, I'm done talking to you, lady. So I do that, and this lady goes, Igor, oh, 
what an interesting name. Now, where is that name from? And I go, uh, well, it's from where I got it from was Dr. Frankenstein, you know, like his henchman, like I'm Dr. Frankenstein and he's my henchman. And the lady looked at me like I had just put a satanic curse on her. Like w uttering the word Frankenstein or Frankenstein was just putting a curse on her house and everyone in it. She was like clutching her pearls like, oh, well, I just, I just, I just, I can't stand that Frankenstein. It just creeps me out. I always thought it was so creepy. You know, I just, everyone likes that one and I just, I could never, anything to do with Frankenstein was the creepiest thing I ever saw in my entire life. And at this point, I have to say, like, I'm pretty much mentally, like, done with this lady. Thank you, health noise boys of L.A., because I just did this. Well, obviously by my shirt with the skull on it, I like creepy things. And she turned and walked away. <laughs> I understand if Frankenstein creeps you out. But maybe you don't have to tell someone who named their dog Igor that they shouldn't have named their dog Igor. Because that's what she uttered under her breath. She was like, I would have never named you Igor. She's like, Pah. I just thought that I would switch up the content and share just a funny little story. And that maybe this story would bring a smile to your all's faces. I got Igor loved to be involved in some sort of video for once. <laughs> All right, if you have any questions about my dog or my shirt or, or if you're afraid of Frankenstein or anything else like that, I guess leave me a comment down below and let's chat about it in the comments. What would you have said to that lady? I, w I would love to know. I would love to know. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I will catch you in my next one, whatever it is. Bye.